Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here again with another 100% randomized booster pack opening video with the help of my friend Packbot3000 here. Uh, we're just going to see what do we have here. First is an Alara Reborn pack. Let's have some fun and open up some packs of Magic the Gathering cards. See what we get. And we'll scan up the rare. <laughs> we'll just dump them all over the place. That's really what I was going to do. We will uh, scan up the rare at the end of each pack and uh, see how we do on these. As usual, I don't probably not going to break even, but I'm going to have fun looking at Grix's Grim Blades and Soul Manipulation. Kasali Pride Mage, that's a card that we will scan as well. Um, a lot of multicolor stuff in this set, which I was not playing during this time. Um, so these are uh, all cards that I look on with wonder because I never got to play with them. Zealous Persecution, Slave of Bolus, Anathomancer. That's cool. And, oh, a token, Dragon Token, and a Forest. They really make you wait um, with anticipation for the rare, which is a Wargate, which is a uh, probably a 100% bulk card. Let's pull up the scanner. Let's, whoops, hold on a second. Get it ready. Give it a scan and see. Yeah, it was total bulk, like I said, $7.90 for a Wargate. It's Bant, and you pay X. Search your library for a permanent card with converted mana cost X or less. Put it into play, then shuffle your library. That's not bad at all. Why did I not know about this card? I have no idea. I'm going to scan this Pride Mate as well. $0.95. Cents. That's my typical threshold for good cards. So there we go, off to a good start. Throw this stuff there, and that one there, and this one here, and we move on. Packbot, what else you got for us? Next pack is Pack of Alliances. How'd that get in there? Great. Well, with Alliances, it's almost Force of Will or Bust. I would like to see a Lake of the Dead. Um, and I don't know the pack order. I want to say... Um, it's actually less cards. Let's just go through it. Who cares about the pack order? Reprisal, Surge of Strength, Gorilla Shaman is a common, but it's a decent card. It's just over a buck. Balduvian Horde, I think might be the rare. Let's take a look. Yep, 50 cents. Balduvian Horde, that's your rare. Veteran's Voice, Awesome Presence, Astrolabe, I might uh, scan that one as well. No, that's just a common that's worth like nothing. Limdol's High Guard, Phyrexian Boon, Wild Aster, Gorilla Chieftain, and Arcane Denial. This is a card that uh, I think the Commander version is worth a bit, and it's a pretty, pretty cool card, but this version is not worth a whole lot. Yep, 58 cents. It's one that I'll pick and make sure to do something with later, but that's it for a pack of um alliances next up war of the spark all the way from alliances to war of the spark you know i'm just not responsible for what comes out of this plastic box right here um that is a fully functional robot so that's what it is invading manticore Naga eternal that crunch is raging so hard Trusted Pegasus, a Bane Hound. All right, here we go with some uncommons. Rowl's Outburst, Tybalt's Rager, Grateful Apparition. Love this card. And a Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. Yay, I got a Planeswalker. It's awesome. Uh, oh, and a Foil Elder Spell. Foil Rare. That's not bad at all. All right, you've seen Jace. You know him, you love him. Let's see what he's worth. A dollar eighty for... A big Jace there. Now the Elder Spell as a foil. Can it be scanned? Alright, so there's Buck 82 for the regular version. The foil version is 735. Not bad. That's a pretty good pull from a War of the Spark box. I'm sorry, pack. Next up is a pack of Battle Bond. Another set that I didn't really. Um, get into and the first time around wasn't really 
uh, you know, playing or drafting anything. So a lot of it's new to me. Uh, I like the theme of the set. Let's see, Tide Spout Tyrant. I'm not familiar. Let's go ahead and scan it. It costs a hundred. It's got flying. Whenever you cast a spell, return target permanent to its owner's hand. Well, that's got possibilities. Let's see. 99 cents is all it is, but um, boy, if you can get that out, you could sure have some fun. The Uncommon's Chakram Retriever, Chakram Slinger, Quest for the Grave Lord. I'm going to scan that one because it's a reprint of a card that's really not that great, apparently. So, take a look at some of these reprinted commons here. Stadium Vendors, that looks new. Got the Kenriths there. And some other stuff. Cool. All right, moving on. Guild Pact. So this came from the box that I got from a big collection um, that had some sealed boxes. Uh, in the end, I made quite a bit from it. I decided to open that box. And now I'm going through it one at a time, slowly like this, <laughs> one of my random videos here. Let's take a look. Anything good. So the Signets, I know the Demir Signets probably okay. This one is got a little bit to it. Go ahead and pull it. Uh, let's see, for Uncommons, we got a Nivix, Area of the Firemind, a Mortify, Martyred Rusalka, and for the rare is a Skeletal Vampire. It's probably nothing big. Yeah. Yeah, not really. Okay, moving on. Next pack, what is it going to be? A pack of homelands. Again, how did this get in there? Wow. Let's see, we got eight tradable game cards. I think there's actually 60 packs in a box of homelands. And there are very few good cards in this set, but what the heck? It's fun. I don't think I've ever actually opened a pack of homelands. Here's a first for me. I run into, I see a lot of them in my bolt pick collections that I find. You can see the whole pack's a little got a little curl to it. Let's see here if I can figure out what the rare is. Cemetery Gate, Giant Albatross, Roterothopter, Anaba Shaman is the rare. This is actually one of the better cards to pull out of Homelands. I think it's probably a couple bucks. <laughs> Rewind that and forget I said that. Shrink. Jinx, Roots, and Aether Storm. So that was a common that was not the rare. What is the rare? Hmm, I'm going to have to scan all of these now. Let's see. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that. Was it this one? No. No. The Cemetery Gate. Common. Albatross. Common. Roterothopter, great. It was one of those uncommons that's technically like a U3 or something. Let's see if we can figure it out. Probably the Aether Storm. So, there you go. That's how it goes with uh, Homelands. Um, there's another Minotaur Shaman that I was thinking of in my defense. So, all of that stuff was nothing too special. <laughs> it's going to go right there. Let's forget that even happened. Next pack is Dominaria. I think I know this set a little bit better. And it's pretty clear what the rare will be at the end at least. Let's go. Oh, two stuck together. Some Gitu action. Tragic Poet. Got some uncommons here. Nature's Spiral. The Flame of Keld. Right of Bells and Lock is the uh, rare. Uh, so there's your other uncommon. It's a legendary. Right of Bells and Lock is a big 20 cents. And that's going to be it for that pack. And some tokens. Next, a pack of 7th edition. Would be really nice to get a foil out of this. Let's see how we do here. Serpent Warrior. I'm just going to go like this. Common, common, common. 
Seventh edition Lanawar elves. Uncommons, agonizing memories. Fire diamond. I might scan that one. Yeah, two sixty nine for a fire diamond. Oops. There you go, for sure. Two sixty nine. Wall of Swords. Got a uh, island and a coat of arms. Wow, that's actually a pretty good card. Um, I don't see that art very often for this card. Each creature gets plus one plus one for each other creature in play that shares a creature type with it. It's a five drop artifact. Been reprinted a few times, but still, it's a nine dollar card right there. So that's a winner. All right. Next up. Last pack out of the pack bot here. Pack of Future Sight. Wish me luck. Got a auger. Icor slick. The grave peril. There's a full art mass of ghouls. You need to do that a little more often, I think. Yeah. Blade. Ignis, okay. Chron Chronomantic Escape, Ramosian Revivalist, Arcanum Wings, and an Imperial Mask. Not a great one. I see this in the bulk boxes quite a bit. Four and one white. When Imperial Mask comes into play, if it's not a token, each of your teammates put a token into play that's a copy of Imperial Mask. You can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponents control. I think there's cheaper ways to give you hexproof than that. So that's why that is only 38 cents. And that's it. Thanks, Packbot, for helping me out. I uh, definitely did not um, break even on those packs, I would say. But I had fun doing it. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think down below. And catch you on the next one.